I'm going to show you to do the North Lome Labyrinth puzzle and all that, which will also get you a piece of the evil armor or whatever. We're just focusing on the Labyrinth on this one. So the Labyrinth is all the way up here on the map, and there's a shrine inside of it, and it's called the North Lome Labyrinth. And then up in the sky is the North Lome Castle top floor. Now, in order to do this, I highly recommend just having a bunch of battery and stuff and making flying devices. That'll make things way easier, but I'll try to show you as much as I can without something like that. So this one on the ground down here, we're going to go to the one down here on the ground. And in order to do this one, I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through this so that you'll know how to do it. So there's all this. If you want, you can climb around this. It doesn't really matter, though. If you have enough hearts, you can just run right through. I mean, even with default hearts, you can just run right through. So the door is open for me. This door will not be open for you. I've already done this labyrinth. Instead, you'll turn to the right right here, and you'll see all this corruption. And then you're going to head over here, turn left immediately, go up these stairs. And then this will be closed. You won't be able to go in here. Instead, you're going to head, you'll see this camp right here. So you're going to turn right at this camp. You'll see some ice chunks. And then you're going to turn left and then right and then left. And you'll see this little thing that you can use ascend on. And you're going to use ascend on this in order to get up to the top. Or you could have just used the flying vehicle to fly to the top. So keep that in mind if you know how to make a flying vehicle. And check out my, my videos on my channel. Try to find the flying vehicle. So we came in right there. We're going to head north. So this is look at your compass. You can see where north is. You're going to head north. You're going to head over to here. And now you'll be getting close to that thing right there. And instead you'll see all this right here. Well this one right here. If you look down at it. You can just jump down here. You'll see that light right there. You can jump down here and there's a ladder. You can climb up here on this ladder, and then go up here, and then to the left. And then right here will be the entrance to the room. And this thing will have ice chunks in front of it, and you can melt the ice chunks by shooting your bow at it with fire fruit. But do keep in mind, it'll take like five to seven fire fruit or something like that to melt, melt the ice chunk. But then you can get that shrine have a fast travel here. Now on this side of the room, there's this thing. Now I've already interacted with it, but you'll interact with this... And that will open up the one in the sky so you can go do the one in the sky. Now, to get to the one in the sky, the easiest way is just use just consume Zonai charges and use a flying device. Ideally with fans because the hot air balloons and all the other things will disappear after going high enough. But if you make a flying vehicle out of fans, then you can just pop Zonai devices, uh, Zonai charges in order to have continuous um, battery. And you can also, if you want, you can make a flying device like this which will make any step of what I'm about to show you way easier. This thing can just get, go straight up. Uh, if you want more instructions on that, I have a video on that somewhere in on this YouTube. But yeah, you can do that to go straight up. But if you're not going to do that, then instead you can head over to the Paquita Stone Grove Skyview Tower over here on the map. Or you can also maybe find a way from over here. But we're going to go from the Paquita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. So from the Paquita Stone Grove Skyview Tower, you're going to go up in the air like this. You're going to face northeast. Look at your compass while you're going up. Orient yourself to go north. A little bit to the right at northeast, something like that. But there's like a platform right below you right here. And if you're not going to spawn your own Zonai devices, if you're not going to just auto build a hover bike, if you're not going to do anything like that, the way you're supposed to get there, I think, is to land on this thing. And over here, there's a hover block thing. And you're going to want to grab these fans and these batteries and you're going to want to attach the fans like this to the back of this and then you're going to want to put that hover not hover a uh, steering stick on it you put I, I put those on asymmetrically which is a terrible idea you want to put those on symmetrically ideally i'm just doing it fast to show you uh, and you'd also grab the batteries which i'm not going to grab in my case and the reason we're doing this is we would want to fly over to this island right here where there's a shrine and a device dispenser and the reason we want to fly over there from here is if you're not going to spawn any devices then you'll need these fans so you can go and you can actually stop along the way with the steering stick you can actually control this and there's random batteries on some of these platforms so like you know you could stop here but just gotta watch out for the enemy who's like shooting uh jet arrows at you but yeah you could attach that to that and then you could um push it out of the way and then you could, um, you know, get back on it and keep going and stuff. And you'd work your way over to here and get as many devices as you can, batteries, fans, whatever you can find along the way, and then go over to here. Now, I'm just going to skip that process because I have all the devices. I'm just going to spawn devices, but that's how you would get the devices if you don't want to spawn any, don't need Zonite or anything. Then once you get over to here with your device, this is where I was heading, the Tananao Shrine right here. 
Uh, you're gonna want to swap the block because those blocks can only go so far before they despawn and you won't be able to make it there from where that one initially started. Instead, once you get here, you're gonna take all the fans and stuff off of it and you're gonna bring them over to here. Or you bring the whole thing over to here and do all the work over here, but you're gonna go over to this one on the north side of this island. And you're gonna go up here and you're going to take these fans and you're gonna point them down. You're gonna put the steering stick on it and you'll have at least one fan like this. So that way you can head towards the shrine, but mainly you want to go up and you also want to go in the direction of the uh, labyrinth in the sky. Grab your steering stick and then go over there as your battery allows in order to get over to it. And then once, if this disappears before you get there, you can just glide the rest of the way. If you need stamina, which you're really going to want in this next labyrinth, you can go get some crabs right here on the map. They're right on the shoreline over here. You can just grab like 14 of them and really quickly you can cook them two at a time in order to make these energizing salt or it's not, not the salt grilled ones, but whatever. Energizing crab gives full stamina restore. And we might need those in a moment, but that's how you're going to go over there. I'm just going to teleport in my case, uh, but that was that's how you would get there. Otherwise, you spawn the flying hover bike like I made also. There's, there's a lot of options, but that's the way without spending any zone eye devices or zone eye. So now for the actual place, so when you get here, activate the shrine. And then after the shrine, you're going to go up and you're going to activate this, which will start a little mini cutscene of it telling you what to do. It'll open up this door and then you'll be able to go into here. Now, the quick TLDR version of this is you'll head in here. You'll go down and around here. Come down to this. Find any way around to get to this. Come in here. get it, Activate one of the things. Backtrack. Go counter counterclockwise around here. Up to here. Go in here. Activate the next one. Go up here. Go counterclockwise around here. Get up to this one. Activate this. And then go counterclockwise around all this in order to get up and around to here. And then come back to here and go in there. And then bam, you're done. Let me actually show you what that means, though. So this one has a lot of gliding stuff. This is where the energy meals come in handy. You're going to go in here. You're going to pull out a glider. It'll shoot you into the sky. Um, I accidentally caught my head, though. But either way, you, whenever you need height, just fall and then pull out the glider, and, and it'll make, bring you back up. So go here. Go to the right, and then go left. You'll hit a dead end. Also, if you fall too far, you'll fall out the bottom of the puzzle, though. So be careful with what I just said. Over here, if you're too low, you can just fall and go under that and then get height again or fall and get height to bounce up. Come up here and then head to the right. You can go over or under that and then go straight over here. Wrap around this. You can look at the mini map. Really watching the mini map is the easiest way to do it. Now we can go over or under this. If we want to go over, we just fall really far and then pull up the glider. It'll springboard us up. Otherwise, we'll just go under and do what I just did there. And that'll bring us over to this one right here. And now we can activate the first of these. I don't even know what to call them. Locks? Not even locks. I, just, I don't know. They're magical thingies. Now we're going to jump over here. We're going to go under this. Come up like this, and then looking at the mini map, we go out here, go to the right, hit this wall, go left, and then right, hit this wall, and go left, and then go right, and then just go left, and then go straight. And then from here, you'll hit a crossroads, and you'll want to go right at the crossroads to get to this one over here. We can activate this one, and then I'll show it on the map right after this. So we're um, right there now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack. Jump over this, pull out the glider, come over to here, and then go under this or over this, and then get some height back. Go up like this, go straight here, left, right, left, and then straight, and then right, and then right, and then left, and then right, and then left, and then right. And now we're over this last one. Again, I mostly just look at the minimap. I hardly even look at my person while flying through all that. Unless I hit a wall and then I have to like, you know, evaluate. Do I go over or under? So we activate that one. That one was right there. Now we need to go through all this stuff to get back. So we're going to go over to here. We can go over this or under this. And then go through here. We can go to the right here. And then go left. And then go right. And go straight. And then left. And then right, and then left, and then left again, and then left again. We lost some height here, so we have to go under this. Okay, that'll spring us back up. All right, now we go up here and left, and then left, and then right, and then right. Go through all this and turn right. There's a random chest, by the way, if you want to loot it. Go left here, and now we're right here on the map. And we're going to go here and go to the right. And then to the right again, which will take us into this room right here. And activating this one will do a little cutscene of it po uh, popping up words on the screen. I'm just going to skip this part for you, but afterwards it'll activate a little one for us to interact up there. And it'll bring up, put an up, updraft in the room we were in so we can get up there.
All right, so now we do this. Also, there were not words in that part. It's the next part that has words. We just jump and pull out a glider. I just caught my head. Back up. There we go. And then we're going to go over to this and interact with this. Now, this one I'm also going to skip. It's, much, it's really long. It basically tells you to dive off. It tells you the bars in the depth in the area below this have now been opened. So we can go down there. And there's a way you can dive straight down to it, which we'll do in a sec. So after that's done, you can go over to this. You can press A to jump. It's going to line you up terribly wrong. Uh, so you're going to dive. And then once you get past this, you're going to back over to this, to that red thing. You're going to want to go straight into the red square. Be careful not to touch the sides or you'll potentially die. So you're going to go down into here. And the lighting's kind of weird, so get ready to pull out your glider. But it's quite a ways down. All right, we get down to this color. That's when you know you're almost done. You can see it coming. And if you safe, you can just pull out the glider a few times like that. Then head in any direction. They'll all go to the same thing. So we're going to go down these stairs. And there's going to be a Flux Construct 3 down here. So if you haven't fought one of these guys, you can use Alter Hand on them to grab the block that's colored and pull it away from the others. And that'll snap it free so you can destroy it. Or you start pulling off random blocks and it'll eventually destabilize. I'm going to pull out my Silver, silver Lionel Reaper Spear. I'm going to head over to him. But yeah, you can just pull off random pieces or you can try to get the one. But the um, Flux Construct 3 is are usually pretty good about guarding themselves. When it does this, you want to just sprint or else you'll get hit. And then if you have good enough aim, you can try to grab it, pull it off like that, and then start hitting it. And then if he does the flying one, he didn't do the flying one. The flying one, you just run away though and stand on a block that he shoots you and then recall. If he slams, you got to sprint. Otherwise, you can try to grab one of the pieces. But luckily, I will get it. Again, you can just pull off random pieces, and you'll eventually it'll just fall apart. But you don't have to always grab the green one. You can literally just grab random ones. All right, good. We're going to get to show you all three now. So what you want to do is just try to get as far away from this as possible so you have time to react to what you're seeing. Because those can definitely kill you. Okay. Then get up on here, and then recall whatever one you're standing on. And then you can get up here, and you can just hit them and eventually finish them off. Then after that flux construct is dead, it'll start a cutscene that will tell you, basically indirectly tell you that now that portal activation thingy, whatever those are called, is now active. So you can head over to it and you can activate it and it'll give a little cutscene, lots of text, tell you about, uh, I don't remember, all sorts of stupid stuff. We're gonna skip that though, but after this, something's gonna happen with a chest. So at the end of the cutscene, the little thing in the middle will start lifting up into the air like this, revealing the chest. Now, inside of this chest is a piece of armor that's very rare and very, very useful. This also completes the side quest, the North Lome Prophecy. So we're going to open up this chest, and inside of this is one piece of a set, and it is the Evil Spirit Greaves. Some believe these Greaves are ins inspirited by a malevolent entity. They're a rather rare find. So this is part of a set, but this video is just covering the one. I'm just showing you how to do the North Lome uh, Labyrinth, and I'll probably be covering the other ones, you know, tomorrow as I get through all this. Uh, but that is how to get the uh, whatever it was greaves and that's also how to do the uh, north lome depths labyrinth labyrinth and castle top floor in the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom